Welcome. In this video, we'll show the different settings available for a tenant administrator in ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. From the ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS portal, you can access Administration on the top right. This administration panel allows you to manage different administration settings as well as templates. Here, you can set the default settings for each pre-configured application, saving the end user time and effort. The Project Space Management tab shows the overall budget for each project space that you can set up. Like Application Management, Cluster Package Management lets you set the default settings for each cluster application package. Next, by clicking on the Storage tab, you'll see all of your storage. You can add new storage at your convenience. Under the Firewall tab, you can adjust the IP range to allow users to connect. Under the AWS Accounts tab, you can add or remove AWS accounts. Under the Availability Zones tab, you can add or remove availability zones to allow end-user access or restrict certain areas. Under the Images tab, you can remove any existing images. To improve search, you can add tagging. For example, you can add tags at the tenant level, account level, availability zone level, project space, resource levels, and even create custom tags. Click Option to add different types of tags. Under Virtual Desktops, you can edit existing virtual desktop templates. Now, Let's look at one of the Project Space setting options. These are the options available for Project Space Administrators, as well as Tenant Administrators. You can manage aspects of a Project Space, including updating the Project Space name, adding or removing availability zones, and giving permissions and administrative privileges to any other user for this Project Space. Once you grant Project Admin permission, Users can manage all operations, such as view, connect, start, stop, and resize as the Windows administrator. Permissions allow the user to view the project space, connect to the resource, start and stop the resource, resize the resource, and act as the Windows administrator for the Windows machine. Clicking Add Storage allows you to add storage to the project space or in other project spaces and mount them to all virtual machines in the project space. You can remove any images you don't need for the project space. Budget enables you to set the budget cap and the monthly budget in US dollars here. You can see a percentage of the budget spent versus the available budget. Next, let's walk through creating storage on a file storage server and mounting them on virtual machines automatically. First, let's create a storage folder. Once you create a storage folder, go to Project Space Settings. Under Storage, you can add the storage that's being created so that it can be auto-mounted on all virtual machines in the project space. As you see here on the virtual machine, the storage is automatically mounted. You can also stop the virtual machine by clicking on the Stop button. A warning message will appear asking if you are sure you want to stop the virtual machine. Thanks for watching.